Ever wondered how to make stunning 3D animations in PowerPoint? Imagine turning simple slides into dynamic, eye-catching visuals without any complex software. In this tutorial, I'll guide you step-by-step step to create smooth and professional 3D animations that will wow your audience. Stay with me, and let's bring your presentations to life, let's dive in. Let's start by creating the background. First, go to Shapes, and select a rectangle. Draw it to cover the entire slide. Now, remove the outline by going to Shape Outline, and selecting No Outline. Next, right-click on the shape, and choose Format Shape. Select Gradient Fill and set the angle to 90 degrees for a smooth transition. Now, let's add some color, select the first gradient stop, go to Colors, then More Colors, and set the RGB values to Red 255, Green 175, Blue 0. Next, select the second gradient stop, go to More Colors, and set the RGB values to Red 255, Green 205, Blue 0. And there you have it, a beautiful gradient background to set the stage for our 3D animation. Now, let's add some depth to our background with extra gradient effects. Go to Shapes and select an oval shape. Place it on the top right corner of the slide. Adjust its size and position as needed to create a smooth highlight effect. Next, let's refine the shape. To remove the extra areas, draw a rectangle over the unwanted part. Now, select both shapes, go to Merge Shapes, and choose Subtract. This keeps only the needed section. Remove the outline by selecting No Outline under Shape Outline. For the color, apply the same yellow gradient we used earlier. Then, right-click on the shape, choose Format Shape, and go to the Effects tab. Set Soft Edges to 40 for a smooth glow effect. Adjust its position at the corner of the slide for a natural gradient blend. Now, let's add more balance. Duplicate the shape using the shortcut hold control and drag. Rotate it and place it at the bottom left corner of the slide. Change the fill color to orange for contrast and adjust the transparency as needed to create a seamless, glowing effect. With these subtle yet powerful gradient effects, our background now looks more dynamic and visually appealing. Now, let's add our main title to bring the design to life. Go to Shapes, select the text box, and place it on the slide. Type your desired text, in my case, I'm writing Spring. Next, let's style it, set the font size to 150 and choose Aptus Black as the font family. Change the text color to white for a clean and bold look. To perfectly center the text, go to Shape Format, click on Align, then select Align Center and Align Middle. Now, let's enhance the text with a soft shadow effect. Right-click on the text, go to Format Shape, and switch to the Text Options tab. Open the Text Shadow Settings. Set the shadow color to black. Adjust the transparency to 86% for a subtle look. Increase the blur to 10 to soften the edges. Finally, set the angle to 45 degrees for a natural shadow effect. With this, our title stands out beautifully, adding depth and a sleek, professional touch. Now, let's add a powerful punchline to complement our design. Go to Shapes, select the text box, and place it on the slide. Type your punchline text and set the font size to 24. Choose Aptus Mono as the font family for a clean and modern look. Next, let's style the text. Open more colors, go to the custom tab and set the RGB values to red 82, green 58, blue 14. To perfectly align the text, go to Shape Format, click on Align, then select Align Center and Align Middle. 
Adjust the position as needed for the best visual balance. Now, let's add a short description. Duplicate the punchline text by holding control and dragging it down. Update the text with a short description and change the font to Aptis Display. Set the font size to 18 and update the color by going to More Colors, Custom tab, then set RGB values to Red 108, Green 76, Blue 18. Now, let's add a button to complete the design. Go to Shapes and select a rounded rectangle. Drag the corner handles to increase the curve for a smoother look. Remove the outline by selecting No Outline under Shape Outline. Change the shape fill to white for contrast. Set the height to 1.4 cm and the width to 4.9 cm for a well-proportioned button. Next, duplicate the text and update it with your button label. Increase the font size to 20 for better readability. Now, let's group the text and button together. Select both elements and press Ctrl plus G to group them. Final adjustments. To ensure perfect alignment, select all elements, go to Shape Format, Group, and choose Group. Finally, go to Align, Align Center and Align Middle to position everything perfectly on the slide. And just like that, our design is complete with a sleek punchline, description, and a call to action button. Now, let's add some beautiful floral elements to enhance our background. I already have a few flower graphics prepared, but you can use any elements that match your theme. Since my theme is all about spring, I'll be using flower elements to bring the design to life. Simply copy the flowers and paste them onto the slide. By adding these decorative elements, we're making the background more vibrant and engaging, perfectly capturing the essence of spring. Now, it's time to bring our design to life with a stunning 3D butterfly animation. Go to Insert, then click on 3D Models, and select Stock 3D Models. From the available options, choose a 3D butterfly and hit Insert to add it to the slide. Next, let's fine-tune its positioning. Right-click on the butterfly and select Format 3D Model to adjust its rotation. Set X rotation to 1.4. Set Y rotation to 325. Set Z rotation to 360. Change camera Z position to 1.8. Set the field of view to 40. For proper scaling, adjust the height to 17 cm and the width to 18 cm to make sure the butterfly blends naturally into the scene. Now, let's animate it. Select the butterfly, go to Animations, and apply Scene 2 for a smooth and realistic movement. Finally, place the butterfly over the flowers, just as shown in the preview, to create a beautiful, natural effect. And there you have it, our 3D animation is now complete, adding a magical touch to our spring-inspired slide. Now, let's enhance our background by creating a smooth layered gradient effect with four backgrounds for added depth. First, zoom out the slide to get a better view of the workspace. Duplicate the background gradient shape by holding Ctrl and dragging it downward. Then, go to Shape Format, Rotate, Flip Vertical to create a mirrored effect. Duplicate the shape again, hold Ctrl, and drag it further down. Adjust the rotation for a smooth gradient transition. Repeat the same process one more time, duplicating and adjusting the fourth shape to complete the layered effect. Now, let's add a blurred gradient shape to the third background for extra depth. Now, let's add text and flower elements onto the second background. To save time, I'll reuse text and flower elements from a previous design, but feel free to add your own custom content to match your theme. Once done, I'll repeat the same process for the other background layers, ensuring a smooth and cohesive design across all elements. First, duplicate the slide to begin the animation sequence. Now, 
select all elements and move them slightly upwards, ensuring that the second background is fully visible on the slide. Then select the butterfly and reposition it to align with the second background. Adjust the 3D rotation to make the butterfly look more dynamic. Feel free to tweak the rotation angles to get the perfect perspective. Now, duplicate the second slide and repeat the process. Move all elements slightly upwards to reveal the third background completely. Reposition the butterfly to align with the third background and adjust the 3D rotation. Finally, duplicate the third slide and follow the same steps. Move all elements slightly upwards to expose the fourth background. Reposition the butterfly once more and adjust its 3D rotation to achieve a smooth, realistic motion. Select the second, third, and fourth slides by holding Ctrl and clicking on each one. Now, go to the Transitions tab and select Morph. And there you have it! A stunning 3D butterfly animation in PowerPoint, created with simple yet powerful techniques. With just a few shapes, gradients, and morph transitions, you can bring your presentations to life and impress your audience. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing PowerPoint tricks. Also, let me know in the comments what tutorial you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.